Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this module, we're going to take a quick look at my implementation of the code assignment. So I assigned you in the last module in Bootstrap CSS to create a, a new row with a heading heading one and heading two, and then another new row. And this time add some paragraph tags, but use the Bootstrap grid system to offset it by, by three spaces and, and also to change the background color. So let's go ahead and take a look at my implementation of that and I'll step you through exactly what's happening with the Bootstrap CSS system. Okay, so in here on line, we're going to be looking at lines 50 to 60. That's my implementation of the code review. And the first div section there, 50 to 55, I've created a, a row. So using the uh, Bootstrap CSS row class. And then I also do, did another div using the column div and used the cal-md-12 to span the full 12 columns. So uh, just remember that Bootstrap always divides up into 12, so you can work with column divisions of 1 through 12. Now, the next row, starting on line 56, I have another row div tag, and this time I am using uh, the cal-md-3, and this is a normal 3, but the next class is one that I didn't show you previously, and that's the offset offsets by three. So this will offset that div by three positions. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the browser now. I'm going to toggle over to Chrome and click on Refresh. And we can see this is the changes I added to our index page. So I have another H1 heading, another H2 heading, and you can see how that div is has been offset by Bootstrap CSS. Okay, in this module, I showed you how simple it was to use the offset feature of Bootstrap CSS. And this is just one feature within the Bootstrap CSS framework. This is a very, very robust CSS framework, which is why I chose it. And it's probably one of the most popular CSS frameworks in, in the world. Like I said before, it was established by Twitter. Now it's open source, absolutely thriving. You see it everywhere. You might not even know it because it, it does get a lot of different styles applied to it. It's very versatile, which is why I chose it for this tutorial. It's just a, a real nice CSS framework to work with. If you are not familiar with it, I encourage you to get familiar with it because it makes it like extremely simple to make great looking websites. Yeah. 